folks, it's Pokemon Sunday! It's Pokemon Soul Silver. We got a little cutscene here. There's there's some legendary Pokemon and a magician. This is also randomized, guy. All, all guys, all of this above here, that little cutscene, this is all randomized. This is just random pixels they threw together. Today we are starting a brand new randomized playthrough. Who knows what could happen? <laughs> Apollo does. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh Professor Oak has retired and moved to Florida. I hope he's having a nice time playing golf. Your name is Phil? Yeah. Fun experiences? Difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. All of them are experiences. What are you staring at? So what, canonically, what just happened here? Did he push me? Yeah, he like, he like picks you up and throws you. Wow. You're already established to be stronger than Meryl and weaker than this guy. Yeah, they get a lot done very quickly. That's very efficient storytelling there. Do you know anything about my research? I live next to your lab. It would be so insulting if you knew my name and I just knew nothing about your research. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. That's like being like, I'm Mr. Animal. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Just got an email from him saying, this time it's real. <laughs> What about the other times, dude? All right. We've got... Oh, but this isn't real. Let's open it up and see what it actually is. Wait, 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 wait. There's no shot that randomization did this. Did I open the wrong, uh... Welcome to Pokemon Sunday, folks. We're starting Pokemon Sunday here. Uh, it's a brand new playthrough. Uh, we are doing Pokemon Sunday. Uh, today <laughs> Yeah, I can see this is the the fast tech speed has arrived folks filver Why would it be filver? Why would it be filver? Why is this? Oh filver silver that makes sense I should have gotten that our choices are Duskull Bellsprout and Chikorita. I'm feeling Duskull guys. Bellsprout I believe is number 69 Which you know Slaps. I think we're gonna do Duskull. Our starting Pokemon is Duskull. Now the question is, what is the nickname? Dusk Nuts, folks. It can only go down from here. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? All right. I can't catch any of these because I don't have Pokeballs, so it does not count towards my only catch. Lick and Ominous Wind, both ghost moves, which could be uh, very bad if uh, we go up against a normal type. The other Pokemon in the grass is a Mudkip! Hey folks, I heard that you like this Pokemon. Very topical, right, Praetor? Apricorn Box! Whoever designed Bullet Seed at all it just has no respect for our time, yeah. They're like, we need a way to buff our playtime by uh, 10 hours. All right, Mr. Pokemon's house, get a pink apricorn, guys. You love to see a pink apricorn. Sorry, it's a pink apricorn. A mystery egg, folks. I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? How many Pokedexes does this guy have? He literally did not expect to see a kid here. He's just like, yep, here's a Pokedex. A blank one, ready to go. Factory reset, dude. Yeah, it sounds effective, Chris. Take your time, Trico. Very mouth-based fight there. Spitting seeds at me, I'm licking them. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you know what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Oh well, yeah? Let's see what this trainer's name is. Operator Kimberly! <laughs> Are you happy you won? Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're actually naming our uh, opponent now. Actually, Kimberly wouldn't even fit. Lip is the winner. Silver, this is terrible. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? This egg. What the hell? Bro, you study evolution. How are you so surprised to see an egg? You can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs, follow me. Wow. Catching that level two Lugia, I see. 
Oh, I, I would I would have loved to throw a Pokeball at a full health Lugia and catch it on my first try. However, I'm not quite as talented a trainer as Lyra is. An evolution of Drifloon. Oh, Growl! Very good. I'm glad you learned to Growl. I uh, couldn't catch it as your first encounter with balls. I don't have balls yet. Or did Lyra give me... Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. I don't know. Uh... What's the vote in chat? Did I did I blow my shot on this route, or do I? Is it the next encounter that I get? I can catch. This is the only Pokemon we can catch on the first route. It's a Gligar, level three, folks. All right, got that crit and the paralyze. There we go. One and done, honestly. Honestly, one and done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The Gligar named Galgar is officially on the team. Sand Tomb. A 15 power, 70 accuracy move. A super potion from my mother. Buy uh, 10 Pokeballs real quick. All right, so there is another route back here. The only Pokemon we can catch on this route is... <sighs> All right, the second Fury Cutter also did one damage. Straight to the box. I've only got two Pokemon, but I'm putting the Illumise away. There we go. Bugcatcher Phil makes a return. Its fragrance attracts a swarm of Volbeat. So, they draw over 200 patterns in the night sky. What? Its fragrance attracts a swarm of Volbeat. So, they draw over 200 patterns in the night sky. Like the Volbiats do? I don't know what you're talking about, Pokedex. <laughs> Milkshake brings all the Volbiats to the night sky. And they're like, there's 200 patterns. Buggy Wuggy is our new Pokemon. Buggy Wuggy, I believe only pro has an item. Luck Incense doubles a battle's prize money. I bet there's an item down here. I'm wrong. 90% uh, Trico's on this route, I believe, with a small chance of an Altaria. The only Pokemon we can catch on this route is an Altaria! Let's get that Paralysis. Hey! One and done, guys. Easy peasy. Watch this. First wiggle. Okay. One and done, folks. Two. Okay, no problem. Easy peasy. Caught. We got the Altaria, folks. Alt Area 51, new and alert. The only Pokemon I can catch on Route 31 is a Geodude. Dwayne is the winner. The only Pokemon we can catch in Dark Cave is... All right, let's see what we can do, folks. Wait, he's got... No! Sticky Barb! Hey! This marine Pokemon has an impressive build that lets it freely fly over raging seas without trouble? Poggers! All right, our starting team, folks. Let's take a look at everybody on the starting team. We got Dusk Nuts, Altaria 51, Buggy Wuggy, Galgar, Dwayne, and Poggers. Oh, they could switch. You know what I'm gonna do? Buggy Wuggy. Four damage. Took more damage, actually. All right. Fury Cutter. Wow. Not the most impressive performance by Buggy Wuggy here. There goes Buggy Wuggy. Attack got Mud Slap. We do love to see Mud Slap. So I definitely turned on that one that was like uh, similar strength of Pokemon. All right. Buggy Wuggy is in hell. Buggy Wuggy rang the bell. You healthy. The only Pokemon we can catch in Sprout Tower is a Tangela Bullet Seed. <laughs> give me in, give me a parallel.
tangles any moving thing with its vines. Their subtle shaking is ticklish if you get ensnared. Creep Pokemon, on account of it tickles any moving thing? Kinda not cool, dude. Jangela, naughty nature on a Pokemon that tickles everything in sight? Come on, dude, this is too on the nose. And learned Needle Arm. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. I don't know, man. This shit seemed kind of rickety to me. Pillars going like this in the middle. A root fossil, guys. You know, one that's not like a laugh, but not a boo. Just like a, <laughs> I guess I could just use this one. Oh, new root. Yeah, let's do it. Let's catch a Pokemon here. The only Pokemon we can catch on Route 32 is... Guys, that is somewhat poggers. Because we caught it. Damn it! But told you it wasn't gonna be that one. <laughs> this is the one. Ugh! Three left, guys. One, two, two Pokeballs left, folks. Snorlax, sleeping Pokemon. Its stomach's digestive juices can dissolve any kind of poison. It can even eat things off the ground. Uh, one thing about this. Uh, I think that poison is a little tougher to digest than things that were on the ground. Just my personal take. Uh, what's his name? Five sec rule? Wow, I've never eaten anything off the ground. <laughs> right, guys? None of us eat things off the ground when it falls on the ground for a second. <laughs> Yaba the Hut was transferred to hell. Oh, we gotta go. Very traumatic beginning to Yaba the Hut's life here. Is the is the Snorlax's name Yaba the Hut because it's close to Jabba the Hut? Or is it Yaba the Hut because it's Yaba Dabba Hut? Okay. I've broken my neck. Charlox is like, what's up? 12 damage, huh? That's scary. Oh, that's scary. Okay, well, gravity's fine, though. Bizarre move. Uh, we just have to dodge a crit. Scary, guys. That was scary. Gravity in the flying gym. Yeah, seriously. That guy was trying to kill me. He's trying to put gravity on and just push me. Oh, you some kind of big shot? We'll see. What happens if you get pushed around up here? Think you'll stagger and fall? This guy just did a death threat, dude. Owls are cool. That's true. I'll agree with that. Faulkner, let's get going, folks. The first gym battle, Liliana. Sent out Jigglypuff. Goodbye, Jigglypuff. One down. All right. We could still fly. Well, you couldn't. Okay. That's fine. We could fly to the friggin' graveyard, dude. Hope you have a plot available. Who are we getting rid of for the egg for now? Alt Area 51? Least likely to fill a role that we don't already have fulfilled by Poggers. The good news is this egg is probably gonna hatch and be like a slugma, so. Oh! It's. Baltorb. Poland is the winner. Seven speed, Thundershock, and extra sensory. Honestly, great kit. Hey, Rock Smash! The only Pokemon we can catch in the ruins of Alf is Quillava. Paralyze! Crit is 12 damage from that. Two growls, then a potion. Very easy. Patriarch's a hater and we always catch our Pokemon. Quilava was caught. Good old Disco. Oh, increases the power of grass type moves. My Pokemon, freshly caught. Oh, I thought he was gonna say other stuff. I thought he, <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna stop at my Pokemon freshly caught, dude. Galgar learned Weather Ball. Jangela learned Lovely Kiss. Ah, Jangela. This guy was a Magikarp trainer. Pichu, level four. Potential issue here because this was a Magikarp trainer. Oh, Galgar. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is aware of it, no less. Take a rod, hell yeah, old rod. Blur balls. Only Pokemon we can catch in Union Cave is Armaldo. It's Zinx guy. Roll out, all right. Roll, roll out's a little scary. Do you have paralysis? 
on the character. Okay, that's scary. Hit, crit, and not paralyzed. Hit. No shot. Surely he's either going to lose the coin flip or lose the 90 out of it. Okay, he's never going to miss or not be moving. Well, Dusk Nuts is dead, but its enormous retractable claws can cut through almost anything. Dominant performance by Nuts Slayer. There we go. Well, Mudshot's uh, special. I guess I'll get rid of Sand Tomb for it. Rip. Yeah, base rate catch Pokeballs with no way to lower HP or give status. It's tough to catch things in the Safari Zone. That did 10 damage there. How did it do two and then six and then 10? Oh God. Okay, so it's a 95% chance of not dying. We have to take a 95% chance. Man, Armaldo is no joke, dude. Mock Punch wants to learn Bug Bite. I actually might prefer Rollout to Rock Tomb. I don't like lowering speed as a as a payoff for that huge dip in accuracy. Oh no, it locks you in! All right, well, Nut Slayer is dead. I didn't realize it locked you in. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. That's a dead. Nut Slayer. You do hate to see it. Goodbye to Nut Slayer. I thought Rollout was one of those moves like Fury Cutter where you could keep using it if you chose. Dragon Claw, beautiful. Poggers holding down the fort though. I know how much everybody loved Buggy Wuggy. Buggy Wuggy, of course, famous for not surviving its first battle against a level two Ralts. <laughs> Thank you for joining for Pokemon Sunday. The future is bright.